When I meditate, I usually do it laying down. I do it this way because I like lots of concentration. Sometimes I do change positions about of need, out of need. Is it a bad thing I do it this way? I think it's it's got a problem. The first key is the part where you say, because I like lots of concentration. For this kind of person, I would be kind of mean and I would say, stop lying down. Because that's what you like to do. See, we, we want to see what happens when you do something that you don't like to do. And we want to show, show you what, what you've been building up based on your attachments. Because an enlightened being can, can be happy anywhere. So if you have preference for something, let's see what happens when you don't get it. That's, I mean, that's kind of mean, I suppose, but it's, uh, it's pertinent. Lying down, there's no problem with doing lying meditation, uh, theoretically. But in, in practice, it's, it's quite dangerous because it can lead to falling asleep, it can lead to daydreaming. It's the position where the mind is most accustomed to uh, freedom, not having any kind of uh, troubles or difficulties. So it has, there, there's very little potential to develop uh, wisdom or to develop renunciation, to develop patience to develop all sorts of good qualities and, and uh, to, to let go because there's nothing that needs to be let go of at that time. What you can do is focus on the liking. Uh, when you lie down it can be quite pleasant and so it can be useful to focus on that experience and to try to free yourself from the clinging to it. Lying is best used for people who have uh, stressful jobs or, or lives, lifestyles who, who uh, need concentration, or who, who ha or their, their mind is work. A people who have, for example, ADHD might benefit a lot from doing lying meditation, because they need the concentration, they need to balance it. So if your mind is racing, you can try doing lying meditation, but if you're tired, or if you're kind of relaxed, I would uh, work on the energy side. So do walking meditation. Walking meditation is probably not as, as peaceful or, or comfortable for you, but that's really the point. The point is to see what your mind does when, when the body is not comfortable, or not, not, not comfortable, when the, when the body has to face uh, difficulties. Uh, and you can sort of see how, it would, how it's kind of spoiling you, because the other part is where you talk about changing positions. Um, so what you're you're experiencing is the the fact that even though it's pleasant to lie down it's really not satisfying and if you were to lie down for say 6 hours uh with without without not asleep if you were to lie there and meditate for say 6 hours 12 hours some people do it for 24 hours i've heard of someone doing lying meditation for 24 hours uh it becomes quite difficult to stay in one posture so it, it, the meaning is that it can't satisfy you. It's not really pleasant. You know, you still have to always change your posture and find a new posture that's more comfortable and then get a nicer pillow and uh, switch from a, an ordinary mattress to a water bed or so on and so on and so on. Then it's too hot, then it's too cold, then you're thirsty, then you're hungry, then you have to go to the washroom, then you're bored and you want to get up and check Facebook or... YouTube. So, uh, yeah, nothing wrong with lying meditation, but it, you should understand how it's used. The fact that you like concentration is a bit of a problem because it becomes an attachment. You should try to let go of that. It would be probably better to, to, to do some walking meditation. You'd get to see things about your mind that you couldn't see before, and you'll be able to see your attachments to the concentration, for example.